स्टूडेंट अ वेरी रिफ्रेशिंग गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हेल्दी एंड स्टेइंग सेफ एट होम लास्ट वीक वी हैव स्टार्टेड आर चैप्टर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एंड कवर ऑलमोस्ट फाइव और सिक्स टॉपिक्स सो कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम चैप्टर टूडे अगेन वील स्टार्ट एनदर टॉपिक ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दैट इज functional organization so before starting the topic let us have a quick look over the learning objectives of this chapter why we are doing it first of all organizing is an aid to management it facilitates growth and creativity it ensures optimum use of resources organizing helps in establishing relationship among individual groups organizing clusters all jobs into units it helps in coordination it helps to perform an analysis about the work organizing also helps in identifying the work grouping of its activity for attaining objectives so i hope that all of you have even solved your worksheet thoroughly and you people face no problem as you are in touch with the videos so these were the objectives we all know that organizing gets results and by doing this chapter you will be able to learn about organizing and its meaning steps we have covered we have covered line organization also we have covered the process of organizing formal organization form informal organization and these parts are left so today we are going to start with functional organization and in this week we will proceed with the further topics too in today's topic you will come across the following key terms listen to the lecture properly only then you are able to understand all the new key terms in this topic and will be able to answer as well so first of all it is functional specialist speed boss gang boss time and cost clerk repair boss work culture matrix structure functional foremanship root clerk instruction card clerk disciplinarian instructor projectile structure and internal communication we all know that we are growing up in society we are growing up in our families so while we grow up you all must have noticed how different your friend family were from your own that is your families living is different from your friends family their living style and your family living style is not matching they had each each one of us had a different system for handling things okay let me say that families generally are of two types one is casual family another is strict family casual family is that which is open and calm they have family meetings and in those meetings everyone knew their place and everyone is in charge of their activity but when we talk about a strict family their approach is do as you are told that you have to do only what is told and in this case the parents are the firm authority and they are possibly why they are firm authority because they are the sole breadwinner and in this case we can also discuss in a strict family the second parent did look toward the first parent for leadership mother and father suppose so father is the first parent who is the sole breadwinner and the second parent the mother look forward the first parent for leadership the way he or the way he guides he has to she has to work accordingly and she is responsible the second parent that is mother is responsible for upkeeping of the house taking care of children maintaining kitchen and many more activities at the first sign of misbehavior if there is any misbehavior 
in the family among the siblings the second parent would be responsible mother is always responsible for deciding the initial punishment until the first parent got home if the first one that the father is not at home siblings are creating any problem in that case who is responsible the mother that is second parent the children look each other for leadership now look here second parent is looking for first parent for leadership second parent is responsible when first parent is not there now second parent become leader and the children looked each other for leadership depending upon their age like the oldest sibling managed youngest sibling and so on similarly in a functional organization leadership is performed through a top down or hierarchy approach all persons and leaders answer to one sole person of authority we can say that in functional organizations that group is like a strict family in which one person is the sole breadwinner and the same case there is authority says chairman president director whatsoever is the case of the company there is one sole authority all managers deputy managers functional heads have to answer to that person and there is a top down hierarchy like from the ceo then directors then managers at different departments workers so there is a top down hierarchy approach so here we comes to know, come to know that leadership starts at the top and works its way down military is a perfect example of how a large or functional organization work see in military commander is there then platoon 1 platoon 2 platoon 3 right every platoon has one captain and the number of soldiers following those captain similarly in case of platoon 2 and platoon 3 if we talk about a company then there is a ceo chief executive officer he is directing an executive director there are different departments communication customer service information technology every department has its own director and staff so there is a top down hierarchy following from top to bottom examples of different types of organizational functional organization structures are corporate department companies engineering department facilities department and human resource department functional organization is a type of organizational structure which uses the principle of specialization based on function or role that the person who is assigned a particular job every time which he has to perform it repetitively the job which is recurring in nature frequently occur in that case specialization prevails so look at the structure given here first of all there is a ceo that is chief executive officer then comes staff and in staff one is manufacturing manager other is marketing manager behind below that manufacturing and marketing manager there is again staff for manufacturing manager there is manager for plan 1 manager plan 2 manager plan 3 in marketing there is manager for region a manager region b manager region c every structure define its role responsibilities and work culture so work culture is the way the mode the atmosphere the surroundings in which the work is performed by the organizational staff and there is no chance of rivalry among the employees also each department 
is headed by a functional manager and employees are grouped as per their role suppose if there are four employees who are good enough in communication with customers then they are divided into marketing department they are shifted towards marketing department because they help company to increase their sales turnover by convincing the customers now work culture depends upon work environment the environment in which staff performs a congenial healthy sound and a department in which there is less conflicts next is reporting system that who has to report whom who is my immediate boss if in that case staff is clear about it then there is less chance of duplication of activities each department has a head responsible for it this responsibility helps the control with quality and uniformity that is a moving in a single path towards one direction we can also say that functional departments are referred as silos this means system is vertical that is followed in a straight line and disconnected there is no gap in between the system communication flows through the department communication flows from one department to the same department it flows within the department not from one to another and it is headed by the top management for example manufacturing industries generally use this functional structure functional manager acts as a coordinator or expeditor so he is one who has to coordinate different activities involved in one manufacturing process and in that way he get the work done by the staff by division of activities in different departments and giving them their heads also employees feel secure they perform well and they become highly skilled if the organizational structure is smooth employees roles are static and they report to the functional manager this is the reason a functional manager is appointed different examples of areas where functional organization structure is followed research based projects to launch a new product when a company wants to launch a new product in the market and in that case company prefer a functional structure for such launching because in that case different departments are there see one department is their production department who will create a product another department is human resource department who will get the work done next is market department the market department conduct a survey and get it know that how many customers are interested in the new products and then is promotion department research department who is there to promote the product among the society another was also there projects to improve product or impressions project to construct new production facilities marketing enterprises manufacturing industries human resource and finance these are the areas in which if company wants to excel they follow a top down hierarchical approach which is known as functional organizational structure as we know that line organization suffers from so many limitations and to cover it another organization came into existence but this doesn't mean that line organization finished line organization prevails in other organization but due to expansion of business due to the need of the business functional organization came into existence when a business expands it grows it functions increases 
and placed under departments. Every department has an expert to supervise it. Even each department is categorized into further departments. Suppose we will try to understand this with the help of following flowchart. It's a manufacturing enterprise. Here three departments are there. Production, Sales, Finance. Now if a business expands like this manufacturing industry is expanding, it is placed under different departments. Every department has an expert, production manager, sales manager, finance manager. And it is supervised by them. Then these departments are further categorized into further departments. Like in production department, we can have processing department, repairs department, maintenance department, quality control department. Similarly, in case of sales, we can have the department of department of stock maintenance, quality check, packing and finishing and so on. So, in every department, there are further departments headed by few experts. So, what we have included here what is functional organization? It's a system of organizing in which different activities are divided into a number of functions and for every function, department is created and placed under the charge of an expert. In such a department, every function is organized as a separate department then they are divided into sub functions which make the need of arising of functional organization structure and this need also lead to the appointment of specialist who can handle such departments efficiently. So, now let us discuss features of functional organization. So, what are, what are the various attributes, what is the nature of functional organization? First of all, entire organization is divided into specific functions. Say, operational functions, finance, marketing and personal relations related with human beings. Then, but there is no unity of command. Unity of command is absent here. Because if in one department, say CEO is the main head, then following the hierarchy, if we come toward the production department, all the production staff is responsible towards production manager only. So there is no link between the production staff and CEO. So there is absent of unity of command. Moreover, functional organization is suitable for large organizations that have complex structure in which number of jobs, scale of operations is quite high. This organization functional areas are put under the charge of specialist known as functional heads. They got the authority to command and give all decisions regarding the function. And whenever the function is performed, they have to act accordingly throughout the enterprise. For example, in a purchase department, purchases of all departments will be handled. Not only of single department, all departments purchases will be handled by one purchase head. Then next is independence. Functional specialists operate with substantial independence because they are responsible for the working of their own department and ultimately to the 
goal of the organization so functional organization has been divided to put the specialist in the top position throughout the enterprise functional departments are created to deal with various problems functional departments gives quality and uniformity of performance staff specialists are appointed at important positions to guide and protect the organization from competitors and their strategy generally a functional organization is comprised of line staff and function it doesn't mean that in functional organization line structure is absent rather in functional organization structure line and functional structure goes simultaneously but in every functional organization complexity is resolved and there is less burden on line organization and functional organization tries to recover all the demerits of line organization with its efficiency so students now this topic of functional organization is not yet over as we have to work for line staff and function in detail and moreover we will start with one important part of functional organization that is functional foremanship its specialist types of specialists merits demerits and its suitability in tomorrow's lecture so for today thank you you all